Hey guys, so right now I am in Upper West Side. So we are going to be driving all the way down on the West Side Highway. So I'm on West 80th. We're just gonna come back around to 79 and just kind of take the highway from there. So it is hot, it did shower earlier. It was pretty like really bad raining, like thunderstorm type thing. Um, and it's good now. It was very, very hot earlier. Now it's kind of a little bit cooler, but it's still hot. So up ahead is actually um, the Natural uh, Natural History Museum. So you guys probably won't be able to see it from all the lush trees in front of it. So making sure this is tight. The last few videos it has fallen off because somebody broke it. Somebody broke the the dash holder he's laughing but he thinks I'm kidding uh, so for those of you who are joining me I am on West 80th and Columbus Avenue um, hello from Bermuda hello so as you guys know I've been sharing the link to my book um, I did write a book it's short stories all based in New York City um, well, not New York City, but New York State. Um, and it's free today. It's only free today. That's it. It's not going to be free anymore. Uh, so just go get your copy. The link is in the page. You can go back and look at the link and uh, download your own copy. It's only the ebook. The paperback is not on sale. So if you do like reading short stories and you want to read short stories uh, all taking place in New York City or New York State, and that's the perfect book for you it's very short I love to read but I don't have the time to read you know a 300 400 page book anymore so that was the main reason why I created the book it was to kind of give people who are too busy you know a little bit of time to be able to read something without having to feel like they're giving up most of their time And pretty much I put my love of New York in there. So you guys will get some details in some of the stories. So it's pretty empty, this area. Usually this area, like on a regular day, it's pretty packed. It's pretty busy. There's usually traffic. Um, so it's pretty empty. I did check with the map before uh, starting the, the trip. And it did say that we will get into Brooklyn maybe within a couple of couple of uh, minutes maybe like 30 minutes or so so as I make my way downtown you'll get to see a little bit more of downtown area we're not going to kind of get into the downtown area um, a lot of it is barricaded off so we're just going straight into Brooklyn Yeah, pretty much most people are kind of just going out to like their area. They're kind of staying put. They're not really, you know, going anywhere. So I'm on Broadway and 79th. Uh, so usually on a regular day, like I said, this is really packed. It's pretty empty for, for New York City. around the parks it's pretty normal and 
has kind of been the normal the normal thing here. I don't know why they never fixed this. This has been like all crazy. Go ahead, dude. Cross the street. I'm not sure why that dude was walking around here because this is like a highway type thing. So we're getting on the West Side Highway. regular days is usually a little bit more traffic than this. This is probably like the emptiest I've ever seen this. to 42nd Street. Um, we're close to the docks. So I'm surprised Dan is not on the on the video yet. Or Dave. So for those of you who are joining me, I am in Midtown on the west side. So this turns into from the west side highway to 12th Avenue. Um, and it's pretty much like a very highway-like feel. Um, they're trying to make it a little bit safer, but it's not doing really much of anything. Second Street. We're just going to keep making our way downtown. you guys doing on this Saturday this beautiful day if it is beautiful wherever you are I know I have people from all over the world watching
Like this is a good thing and it's also a bad thing because it's like so weird to see how empty it is. But it's good because then you don't have to like deal with people. And you don't have to deal with traffic. But then it's weird. It's like very, it's very weird to see it like this. Say yellow for a little bit, but oh, what's the point? So over here is the Hudson Yards. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it somewhat. Yeah, you guys got it a little bit. I'm not trying to take it off the definitely like a little packed today depending which park it is there in the distance you can see the freedom tower what is up with these lights today See, this guy tried to stop, but he was like, fuck it.
4,000 steps. 1.2 miles. Yeah. Maybe we can go for a walk when we get around the house. Ooh, we have base. to avoid what I think uh, there's a bike thing going on here a bike protest how the hell are we supposed to turn around And then that's the thing that I checked the freaking map for this shit. What is he doing? He's just gonna create traffic. Like, it's better for you to just stay where you are and wait for them to pass because then if you start reversing, you're just gonna create traffic. Especially when there's a bunch of bike people behind you. And then you see they could have they could have stayed on the other side instead of also blocking this side. Well, I guess we might as well just park and wait. <laughs> Traffic, but it's still powerful. <laughs> but we're just gonna have to wait it out. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where are we gonna go? Oh, let's go! Woo! Just might as well get into the back. <laughs> and the police is on that side. So thirsty. Yeah, the police is on that side. So they actually are staying on that side, the police. So I'm like, it's too hot. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. How they can block the. Is, was it scheduled or not? I don't know, so, but that's mostly how protests are. They, they're on schedule. It just happens, and sometimes people just join as it goes. <laughs> I see there are a lot of white people here too, because I thought that's a black thing. Hmm? Yeah, but no, it's it's to support everybody. But you see, there's more people on the other side. I 
West Trump. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, the only thing you can do in this situation is literally wait. <laughs> So there's not that bad. No, there is not like they're actually like there's people though I hate the people that actually stand in front of traffic and block the traffic. That's what I hate But they, they were just passing by <laughs> And you see they you but you see look now over there on that side the traffic is crazy It's on that side you can hear because they they're blocking it over here so the cops are blocking it on this side. So look at the traffic. So they're they're averting traffic to the other side. Why did they stop the traffic? Because so that you, it's safer for them not to be around traffic, for the protests not to go around traffic. Because there's always going to be some crazy ass person that's going to feel some type of way. And it might try to run them over, or he's trying to try to get out of the out of the protest and then end up hurting somebody, like the people behind me. People will be backing up behind me. So why they don't block this uh, this side? Because they were probably walking on the other side more than this side. And it's a it's a small protest. It's not that big. Because I'm like I see more bigger protests where it's like worse. Here it is. There's the Freedom Tower. One World Trade. It doesn't fit like in the whole damn thing. I drank way too much coffee today. And I'm trying to like filter some of that coffee with water. So even when you try to avoid the protest, you still end up getting one. <laughs> Now we're about to take the tunnel. So let's see how the tunnel looks. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be empty too, the tunnel. Because I know when we were coming onto um, Manhattan, on the other side, the Brooklyn Bridge was closed. This is not the actual tunnel. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> so now this is the tunnel. service because if I go through really quickly it still gets service and it still has service but if there's traffic it ends up going out this 
is why I love doing live videos because you just never know what's going to happen. just going home now because you know we have to make sure we get home by 8 because we have a curfew I feel like a child and Como is my father talk to my father if I can stay out to 10 video and again I'll let you guys know my book is out for free today and today only damn what is all these cop cars how is the whole squad doing here uh, so okay anyways so again my book is out <laughs> one more time let's do this one more time my book is out you guys can get the ebook for free the link is in on the page so just go back onto the page and you'll see the link for the book. Like I said, if you love charming little original stories, then that's the perfect book for you. It all takes place in New York City or New York State, so as a whole. All right. Bye, guys. Enjoy your day.